everyone and welcome to another video. If you are new, my name is Michaela and I make Sims 4 videos of speed builds and create a sim as well as bitly videos. So if you want to check those out then go ahead and check out my channel down below. So for this speed build I actually got this requested. It was to create an eco, eco uh, house using just base game which if you have seen my videos before and heard my voiceovers I struggled so hard being restricted like this but it was also really good so I'm sure you are all aware that the eco lifestyle expansion pack just came out and I actually don't have that I do kind of want it but just for like money purposes I am trying to hold back on buying it right now so this one is just good to like just explore what like an ego house like really entails which I feel like personally I just like wasn't really quite sure exactly what it needs so I did a lot of research read and a lot of googling and there was some other stuff that I would have wanted to use for like different parts of the house but those come from other packs so I really had to get creative here so you'll see um on the roof on those two roofs at the top I put like another glass roof on top so those are supposed to be like solar panels but obviously we don't have any, at least none that I know of in Just Face game. So that's what those are supposed to be. Like I said, I had to get very, very creative with this. And for the outside, I wasn't sure like what exterior, like what siding or anything to use on an eco build. So I just went with some rock and then I, for I forgot what the bottom part was. But I thought maybe this would be like for an eco house. Also, as you, as you can see on the front balcony and the back balcony, I have like green uh, flooring, green flooring, yeah, which is supposed to be like grass because I also read up on eco houses and a big thing of them is uh, growing your own food, having your own garden, growing fruits and vegetables, all that fun stuff. But I did build this on a pretty small lot. I want to say it's 20 by 15. So there really isn't any backyard area. As you can see, it's very very small so I thought it'd be pretty cool just to have it on the balconies a little bit so towards the end of the build I do put some of the planer boxes on there there isn't too much room but you can still plant some stuff on there whether it be fruits vegetables maybe you want to plant catnip whatever floats your boat I also decided to make this a pretty small house I wouldn't say it's like a tidy house but it is really small just because I feel like that would just use less of your carbon footprint and all that fun stuff so I do have this as a one bedroom but there is like a loft area on the second story because I just really like two-story houses so right now I'm trying to figure out the stairs situation because I, I couldn't figure out how to make it look decent and I feel like I always struggle with stairs sometimes because I don't know if I want to have it too wide or just a one because as much as I like it too wide I also don't like it too wide because it just feels so big but I don't know I ended up just going with the one wide and I always like doing the L-shaped stairs because honestly they're just my favorite type of stairs and part of that is probably because we didn't have L-shaped stairs for such a long time until what like Discovery University came out or something so I just always use it or just use any sort of variation of it what I do really want in The Sims is, is to have a spiral staircase because how freaking cool would that be? Like. I'm really into like fantasy and stuff like that. I don't always build it, but I always think about wanting to build it. And I think that'd be really cool. Like I remember one time when I was in Scotland, I went um, on this this thing. It's not, it wasn't a castle. I mean, I went to a lot of castles too, but I went on something that had a spiral a staircase all around. And I think it'd be cool to just recreate stuff like that. So right now I am just working on actually going into the house itself which I feel like the layout itself was a little bit weird and I wasn't sure how I wanted it to be and so you see right here I'm working on the kitchen which I actually end up moving that because usually when I build I like having kitchens like towards the back so like by a back door or something just because that's what I'm used to in houses but it ended up not really working out in this build because I felt like the kitchen was really big but then the living room area was like awkwardly too small and I feel like a living room should be bigger because I feel like there's just like more you do versus in the kitchen you just cook although it is very important to have a big space in your kitchen as well 
So I actually ended up moving the kitchen near the front door, which I still feel like is kind of weird. Like right now I'm just trying to move stuff around. I also have giant windows, so I guess this is kind of like a modern build. Uh, which I think I also read online that just having a lot of natural sunlight and whatnot is really good for eco uh, houses just because then you're using less energy all around. So yeah, this is where I start moving all the kitchen and stuff over here. And yeah, it's like right next to the front door. But also I feel like when I build in The Sims, I always do like similar things all around. So it's probably good that I did do it this way. So that way I could start getting out of my comfort zone. So this is pretty much the layout that I kind of go with. I do move stuff around a little bit in here. So this would be like the living room. Plus I have the dining room table, which I just kind of stuff that in the corner because I really know what to do with it. And I do have like electronics and with that in this build. So like I have the TV and then upstairs I do have a laptop because I mean, in this day and age, technology is a very prevalent thing to our lives. And right now, um, I decided to turn on or like go into like night mode and build mode just so I could see what everything looks like in the dark, which I feel like is just a really good thing to do when you're building because you want to see what things look like in both daylight as well as uh, the nighttime. And I don't know if you saw it in the kitchen, but the counters and the cabinets um, I don't know what it's called, but they're from base game, obviously, since it's a base game only build. But these are actually my one of my favorites out of the base game objects. I don't know, I just think it looks really cool, and I felt like it just needed to be in this build. And so right now I'm just working on decorating the kitchen a little bit, which there is not enough clutter in base game. I don't know how I managed to build without like any packs for a while because I mean I got into The Sims 4 a little bit later than probably most of you and so when I did finally get into it a lot of packs had already been out but I was just working on base game for I guess it wasn't too terribly long but it was probably like a month or two because I was like oh this is fine. I also didn't use any mods or custom content or anything because when I first got into The Sims 4 um, I was using my laptop, which it was like a $200 laptop from Walmart, not good at all. It, it could barely handle The Sims, honestly. And when I did finally start getting more packs, it ended up being worse. But now I have a desktop that can handle The Sims and the, all the packs I have, as well as sometimes mods and custom content. So over here, I have this awkward space underneath the stairs, which I wasn't quite sure what to do with. I mean, I guess one thing is I just could have blocked it off with walls or something, but I feel, felt like since it was uh, such a small house already that I wanted to have as much open space as I could. So as you can see over there, I just have the bookshelf under there. I really want to put a chair under there as well, just so your son could have a spot to sit down as well, but it ended up not working. I mean. I feel like they probably couldn't actually go in there, but also if they could, then their head would probably just clip through the stairs, which wouldn't be good. And so now I'm moving into the bedroom, and I always forget that that bed exists in base game. I really, really like it because it just is really pretty and it's like fancy. Oh, I also, since I have these um, giant windows, I definitely made sure to put some blinds there, or I guess curtains that kind of look like blinds. They look like the blinds that go on like a sliding glass door or something because I feel like if you have that many windows in your bedroom, you'll want some privacy sometimes. Like if you're changing or like just even if you're sleeping or whatever, which I don't put them on all the windows in the build just because I wanted to have some light somewhere. But in my imagination, like Sims would be able to close all of, all of the windows. And over here with the dresser I used, I used the one that looks like it's been used. So the way I was thinking of it is if you're living in an eco house, in an eco build, then you'd probably want to reuse as much stuff as possible. So I'm thinking that the sim that lives here, maybe she went to Goodwill or I guess the sims version of Goodwill or like a thrift store and probably just got some furniture and whatnot that has been used already so that way she didn't have to buy stuff brand new. Which I feel like is just good to do like in real life as well. That's what I try to do. Um, not for the eco part of it per se, but just because it's a lot cheaper and I mean, I don't 
think I like need brand new furniture. Some of this I do want brand new, like a brand new mattress or something. I feel like that's important. But like my dresser I bought at Goodwill and it was only $20 versus I think the week before that I went to Ikea and all the dressers were like $100. So like what would I rather spend? And over here I'm working on the bathroom. I did have to revise the size of the bathroom a little bit because at first it was just like awkwardly big so I feel like I needed to make it a little bit smaller. Um, There is quite a bit of counter space which I love having a lot of counter space for bathrooms just like in real life. Like for the past month or so when I've been looking at apartments possibly to move into within the next few months. I have loved the bathrooms that have a lot of counter space because like my bathroom, my a bathroom counter has like no space for anything which is very very annoying and now I'm working on the upstairs like I guess it's kind of like a loft area um I think originally I was gonna have this be a bedroom and just have a bunch of room downstairs but then I decided just to make this like a little office area and then I have the both the front and the back balconies up here and so I do put a desk and then I put some um the art easels and then I forgot what else I put but I figured the sim probably likes making art, uh, painting, and all that fun stuff. So I put the easels right there, and I think it's really pretty because those two giant windows are like right there. So like she could just paint something that she sees outside or whatnot. Which I actually really like going through the painting stuff in The Sims because I think I think it's a good way first of all to make money, and I like the stuff that they end up creating. And also like sometimes when they make like the weirdest painting and it ends up being a masterpiece. So every time I see that I'm like, I could probably do that in real life. In real life I'm really bad at drawing and painting and doing pretty much anything artistic. My artistic abilities come from like building in The Sims and I feel like that's the extent of it. I know if I were to practice then I would obviously get better at it, but I just also feel like it's not like my like cup of tea or something. I don't know, hopefully that just made sense. And now that we're coming towards the end of the build, this is where I put the little planner boxes so that way your sim can put whatever he or she would like to. And the last thing I do is just do a little bit of landscaping outside. I didn't do anything too crazy, I put these planner boxes outside which I thought were really pretty. I always forget that those exist. As well as just a few flowers and bushes and I do put quite a few trees out here as well. And I feel like with it being like so small and there's not a whole lot of landscaping to begin with, I do really like the way that it turned out. But anyways, this is just about the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you do have the new pack, please let me know how it is because I do want to get it eventually. And if you did like this video, then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you have not already, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.